Hello everyone, and today we are grooming the stressful Samson. I'm not going to be stressed out, but he most certainly is. He is apparently a golden doodle, a mini golden doodle, but those of us who are dog people, as opposed to dog lovers, would know that he most certainly resembles a cocker spaniel and a poodle mix. He also has a docked tail. So something tells me that somebody sold this dog as a doodle because they know that they would make more money when he's actually a cockapoo. I don't know that for sure, obviously, but I would love to get his DNA tested to find out. So Sammy is a dog that will bite, which is the reason why he's wearing a muzzle. He is very fear reactive. I've been grooming him for years. He did not start coming to me as a puppy, so I don't know what his grooming experience was like prior to me grooming him. But what I do know is that he is extremely, extremely nervous and stressed out about grooming. I shave him down with a number seven at every appointment. And then he is bathed and crate dried because he is very scared of the blow dryer. Right, buddy? His triggers are shaving his bum, doing his nails, and doing his paws. That is what he hates the most out of everything. So this is just a quick rough shave just to get the bulk of his hair off and then put him in the tub so that I can bathe him. Fortunately, Sammy is good for his face groom, which definitely makes my job a lot easier because I don't have to worry about him biting me when I trim his face. Come on. So normally what I do with Samson is I do his nails and his paws and his bum before the bath. That way the final groom, I don't have to do anything that he really doesn't like. There's the initial panic and then accepting his fate. I've never seen a golden doodle with a dock tail before. I think they told her that the tail, he just came out like that. I don't believe it, but you never know. Okay. And I'm just gonna shave the inside of his ears here quickly because they're usually really thick, so I like to shave them with a 10. Now we're gonna do the nails, which he hates. You're okay, Samson. You're okay, Samson. Actually, rear dew claws is also something that is commonly found on spaniels and it's not found on golden retrievers or poodles. I wouldn't say ever found, but not commonly found on golden retrievers or poodles. So that's another indication that he's part Cocker Spaniel, as well as this behavior. Cocker Spaniel sometimes can be a little bit um, feisty. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. I know. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Samson. Good boy, Samson. When I pick up a dog's paw and it's wet, it means they're sweating and they're normally sweating in here because they're stressed. He is a stress ball. Okay, now I'm gonna shave his paws with my five in one. And I'll probably have to tidy these up again just to finish him off at the end of his groom, but I'm just doing a quick little trim here before the bath. Okay, and other side. So now I have to take off this groomer's helper and put it on the other side. I should really just buy another one so I don't have to keep moving them. Hey, 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 relax, relax, relax. Calm down, 
down, Samson. You're fine. No, you're okay. If he is not in the muzzle and the groomer's helper, he will spin and bite me. So that is done for my safety. You're okay, good boy. The last thing I'm gonna do before the bath is just shave his head and his ears and his face just to get that extra bulk off so that it doesn't take as long to dry. Relax, Samson. Fortunately, he's very good for his face. Okay, now that we got the majority of the bulk off, I'm gonna put him in the bathtub and then he's gonna go into the crate to dry. I am bathing him in nasty critter today. He is not a shedding dog, so we don't need to use fluff off. To the crate dryer you go. While he's in the crate dryer, I will clean up his grooming area, get rid of all the hair, and then I'll have a clean space to work when he's dry. Okay, Samson is dry. Now I'm just gonna brush him out a little bit on his head. He looks wet, but it's just because when they have curly hair like this and you let them air dry in a crate, it doesn't dry very nicely, which means that you don't get the best finish on the dog. But it's more important that he is crate dried because that causes him less stress. So the first thing I'm gonna do is groom his entire face, get it finished. Then I'm gonna muzzle him and finish grooming his body. So going back over his head in a number four, They like his face and body to be short just because it's easier to keep him clean. Oh, you big baby Samson. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just going to brush those little hairs out of his lips. Shave that off. Nobody likes dirty lip hairs. Good boy, Samson, stay there. Keep in mind, once again, that they like him short, which is the reason why I'm doing so much trimming on the face. I'm trying to taper it in a little bit so it's nice and short and clean without actually having to shave it off with a short blade. Now that the face and the head are done, 
I'm just going to shade where the muzzle would go so that I don't have to pull it off to work underneath it. Okay, Samson, I know, you're such a sucky baby. And now we're gonna go over his, it's okay, over his body with the number seven to smooth out his haircut. Okay, Samson, it's okay. You're okay, buddy. You're done, and then you're gonna go home, okay? Almost. Good boy. It's okay, I'm not shaving your butthole. Relax. Boy. So you can see even though I trimmed these feet, before the bath, they look really uneven. And that's because after being bathed and dried, you see some of those uneven spots more. Stay, stay, stay. No trying to bite, please. Because he was wearing the muzzle after I just finished his face, it probably messed up the hair on his face, especially because he pants and it, he drools a little bit. So when I take the muzzle off, it's probably going to look like he needs his face trimmed again, but it's just because he had to wear the muzzle after. Okay, spray him down in bubble gum. Okay, and Samson is all done. He does pretty well for a reactive dog. Obviously, I've been grooming him for years. I know his triggers and he's figured out the grooming process now, so he's a little bit less stressed than he used to be. I'm gonna let him outside to run around and play. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in a few days.